Sometimes creative car alterations need to be made out of necessity, other times inspiration. Either way, these owners turn their vehicles into testaments to their imagination. Without further ado, let's take a look at some of the most creative car owners ever to set rubber to road. Amazing! After an accident in the Altai Republic that left a bump on the side of this guy's car, he decided to transform it into a map of the region, covering up the bumps in the details of his design. This owner wasn't so successful, but it still looks cool. However, he did later convert the interior of his car into an awesome world map. Helpful if you ever get lost. Then there's these animal lovers who decided there's nothing quite like flashing an animal's rear at unsuspecting drivers. And then this puppy version. Or maybe you're more into the Welsh Corgi. If you're interested in following a trend, you just need to remove the wiper by loosening a screw and then applying some stickers. When moving, this one looks like Arnie's doing bicep curls on show. Genius! This one's probably the best wiper yet. May the force be with you, young driver. Now let's take a look at how some creative car owners altered their wheels. This lover of SpongeBob SquarePants chose to recreate Bob's best animated friend Patrick on their wheels. Look how similar it came out, genius. And if you don't get excited when you see a car wheel illustrated with Pac-Man, you have no inner child. Now I don't know why you'd want to bring back the old horse and carriage design, especially given how uncomfortable it would be, but this car owner decided to do just that, by attaching wooden wagon style wheels to his motorised Hummer. It's unique, that's for sure. And if he ever lost his door, he might want to replace it with a wooden saloon door, like this car owner did. Not very secure though, but I guess it does the job. A 1985 US silver quarter in mint condition is valued today at roughly $13. It's highly collectible, and this car owner, who spray painted a replica of it on his rims, proves just how popular it really is. And then here's a reminder that flowers and money go together like bears and honey. It's a very stark contrast to have a Porsche with flowery hippie rims like this, but it's safe to say no one else is driving a car like that. The 1982 cult classic movie Tron led to a 2010 remake that grabbed $400 million at the box office. Part of its success is down to the awesome futuristic neon designs in the movie, designs that several enthusiasts have copied on their own vehicles in real life. This driver went for awesome sky blue lines, and then these two went for striking desert red. This creative car owner took it a step further towards movie realism with neon underglows. How many uses are there for a Sharpie pen? Answer, more than you probably think. A US military serviceman let his artist's wife tattoo his Nissan Skyline GTR top to bottom with a Sharpie pen after seeing her doodling on its bumper. Her intricate pattern took 100 hours to complete and it looks really awesome. Then there's racer Mike Nyman, who put a few hundred Sharpies to use on his 1992 Mazda Miata. The project took him 22 days and $100 in Sharpie bills. You have to agree though, it has an awesome design. Then there's a car dealership CEO named Brett David, who decided to ink one of his supercars for publicity. A Lamborghini Gallardo to be exact. Cars like this sell anywhere from 85 to 170,000. When bits of your car break, you can either lose some money at the garage or get inventive. This car owner replaced his rear wipers with the end of a broom. It isn't quite as effective as normal wipers though. And for this owner, any old window would do. Not exactly the most aesthetically pleasing window I've ever seen, that's for sure. And if you ever lose a side mirror, you can always use a hairbrush like this person. Again, not exactly stylish, but it might be a workable solution in the short term. Or how about making a side mirror that looks better than it did before it was broken? Look at this awesome Grim Reaper styled feature that makes it look like a hand is holding the side mirror. That is really cool. And if your main goal is just to evade the police when you've lost a headlight or two, a cheeky picture of a headlight like this might do the trick. Then there's this owner who used the clever illustration to make fun of his car damage. Or how about just going old school with a larger than life plaster? It might just heal this broken baby. Great minds obviously think alike, though this owner went digital. But what about using string? The winner for the most expert thread repair goes to the person behind this genius repair job. If your car stereo keeps falling out, all you have to do is use four blocks of wood to jam it in place. This one's really ugly, but it does do the job, I guess. A better solution would be to use sponge like the person here used. 
And if you ever somehow snap your car door handle, all you need is a tuna can, and voila! Watch out for the sharp edges though. If those edges worry you enough, how about throwing away the can and using a fork instead? Fewer sharp edges, so I'd give this owner the creative edge. Here you can see hot and cold taps were wired into the motor to control the aircon. It's a very clever repair to a broken air conditioning system, but like most of them in this video, it doesn't look that great. Do you ever get an annoying draft coming from the seams of a door in your car? This owner just used filler to stop drafts reaching his backseat passengers. Again, this one looks horrendous, but it must have done the job. And if your door has trouble staying on for some reason, masking tape might just do the job. Wrap it around every joint of the door, and you might be able to keep it from flying out of place, though the side mirror might get completely mummified like this in the process. A better solution might be to just strap the door down with seatbelts and straps from the inside. Just as long as you're not that fussed about passenger comfort, because it doesn't look particularly comfortable. And if you want to cover up your car's damage and look like a boss at the same time, try something like this. This car owner was clearly so annoyed by the damage to their car door, which kept swinging open mid-journey, that they decided to drill a mount and padlock it. And if you've ever lost a car window, the mat from the game Twister can be repurposed as a wind blocker, just like on this damaged car door. It also turns out that everyday objects like plastic bottles can make for some really good makeshift headlights. This car owner wrapped a bottle of water with a red sheet and then placed it in his brake light slot. And then there's this owner who figured out that torches emit light so they can be doubled up as car headlights. Now for some awesome details. Using 3D stickers, one car owner added some gore to their brake lights. Even cooler is a 3D sticker of a cracked screen with half a tennis ball to make it look like a tennis ball has smashed through a car screen. It looks so real that a few dozen people each day pause only to find out that they've been duped. Animals are pretty bad at crossing the road safely. This unusual shot appears to show a written explanation of an accident while driving. A pretty comical one too. And when things start falling off your car, that's when you need to get crafty. Here's an Indiana Jones style rope solution to a hanging bumper. Or you could have just used zip ties. Here's an elaborate use of those white bands that seems to be holding this truck's pipes up. Now let's check out some awesome changes to the bodywork of cars. Here's a steampunk lover who transformed their gas guzzler into a steam powered vehicle with a sort of dystopian bodywork. It looks incredible. And what do you do if your shiny new van keeps getting targeted by thieves? You take inspiration from this person who camouflaged their van with some dirty and rusty decals. It's so well done, it's even hard to decipher when you go up close. And the camouflage was so convincing on first look that the owner was actually pulled over by police. Metal is so predictable. Driving comfort and style with this crocheted smart car. You'd be best not to take it out in wet weather though. And here's one that could take several hours at an art gallery opening to explain. It's really quite hard to know where to begin with this alteration, but it's striking, that's for sure. And if you're all about spreading chuckles, here's a simple yet effective way to do just that. And then there's this owner who also enjoys swirling brush strokes. And if you're also worried about your Jaguar getting cold in the winter, how about knitting him a jumper? This one's a nice little touch during the cold season. And here's an awesome mini that's been decaled with an x-ray design. A reminder of how frail the canine condition is. And if you want your damaged car to look better than it did before an accident, Take note from this owner who sprayed the rear of their car gold and created a sort of miniature world featuring Mickey Mouse and two astronauts. Or how about converting your car into Han Solo's Falcon and bring Chewie along? Just stick a massive sticker on your rear window and you can look like this to people behind you. Forget about seeing what's behind you though. I haven't touched on wheel covers yet. Take a look at this one. There's something oddly striking about this rustic Jeep with its pretty embroidered wheel cover. And when you're snaking your way through traffic, this creative car design will make total sense. Got a pickup truck and want a pool? Create something like this. Why haven't more truck owners thought of this simple conversion? Take a look at this awesome car with turf carpeted all around its exterior. This one's actually a car owner's attempt to advertise their business, and it definitely works to get people's attention. A fan of the game Fallout? This car owner might be. Way to make a statement. Crocodile Dundee himself would be proud of this Jeep, featuring bullhorns and a thick rope. 
Here's a really odd candy cane car. I can't quite make out what the thing on the roof is. Do you know what it is? There's definitely no other car on the planet like it. Willy Wonka would be proud of this one. Let's jump into the interior. This highly original use of post-it notes created this really cool futuristic multicolored look for the speed gauge. And if you really can't get enough of the road even when you're driving on it, fashion carpets like this for the flooring of your car. Or how about taking the thrill of a horror movie into the luxury of your very own car seat? To be fair, that steering wheel must be really comfortable to hold onto. Or how about turning your vehicle into a Mario Kart car, even featuring the modes and options to activate magic mushrooms and empty banana peels. Or slide into another dimension with this gear stick cover. The car owner clearly thought it would be truly out of this world, and it kind of is. And here's the lead contestant for world's best gear stick. The owner used this car to follow his Pokemon Go plan route. Rumour is he's almost a Pokemon master. This one might be the interior of that car who had grass on the outside of it. Why go outside when you can bring nature inside your vehicle? And if you need the calming allure of a desert escape when you're stuck in rush hour gridlock, then try something like this. Although it's not exactly the safest positioning. Imagine crashing and having the airbag push a load of cacti in your face. Here is either a pimp's paradise or a lucid tripper's escape. This creative car owner turned their car's interior into an inner sanctum of amazing artwork. Which car design did you think was the most creative? Are there any that you would like on your vehicle? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.